Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to put together this two-ton Pittsburgh Harbor Freight cherry picker. Uh, I needed to be able to do a couple future projects and I needed one of these. So let's get started putting it together. I think it's a little bit heavy. Ah, <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do is unpack it and then get it organized and then we'll go from there just so that we all like an organized area uh, to start putting it together and then we'll look at the instructions after that. This thing is actually pretty heavy. I was kind of surprised when I went to Harbor Freight to actually get this thing. Uh, I was like, I'm going to need some help loading this. And they were like, no problem. And they loaded up that uh, jack back there and this into the back of my truck. And they actually brought it out on a hydraulic like push cart so that they could just pump it up with their foot and tighten it up to the height of my uh, bed of my truck and then we just slid it on back it's actually really really cool I kind of want one but I'm kind of nervous to look up the price and I don't really need one but it was just really cool <clears throat> interesting it started here and that should make it a little easier and this is similar to the uh, engine stand that I got so the engine stand that I got is from Home Depot that we got and uh, it's a two-ton engine stand and it's actually interesting because I was trying to put it together and I was like really confused by two parts because they were really huge and I'm like well let me look it up and I couldn't find it on the internet. I couldn't find a tutorial video of it. Finally, I'm like, well, let's look at the Harbor Freight ones. Look at the Harbor Freight tutorials for some of their two-ton engine stands. And it's the same one. So I was like, oh, okay. And they had the same issues and they were like, we just forced it in place and called it a day. So it's exactly what I did. And I guess it kind of worked. So it's very interesting how some of the stuff that you buy is the same thing all over the place. It's interesting, this setup here for uh, extra support for this kind of two ton, two ton, one half, half ton on, uh, okay, I guess when you put it through these bolt holes, that's the amount of weight it can support. So in this case, it's basically at the two ton support. Anyway, kind of cool. I like to look at how stuff is constructed sometimes to kind of understand what it's doing. So that way when I build stuff, I can do similar things. We have two different size wheels with three inch three and a half inch. Three and a half inch go here, and the three inch go here. Interestingly, I was looking for bolts, but these are threaded spots here. So you just take it out, hold up the thing here, and screw it in. So that's really cool, I like it.
So this goes on the outside and it'll slide up and back. It's on the outside. All right. So next, it's to put these in. One thing I like about the instructions is it tells you like nut M14 and flat washer. <clears throat> then if you go to this, it says M14, two pieces, and then flat washer here. We need a number nine, so it's these on this side of this packaging. It's really cool and well laid out and labeled. I really like that. Similar to the saw stop I have over here, uh, the bolting and everything is well documented and actually really like it. I'm, I'm glad that they took the time to do it compared to the engine stand that I did. They basically gave you a picture and said, have fun. So I really like the instructions. Very good job. Okay, so this is kind of interesting, like getting this all worked in. It's gonna be fun to screw in here. Ooh. There we go. I mean, so this is a similar situation to the other one here. Me. Okay. <coughs> Those chickens. Okay. Need to loosen because there's a weld right here that is catching. So it's good to know. It's interesting. Still using one inch socket sockets here. Let's try again. There we go, that's better. All right, boom. Next is the jack, hydraulic jack. We have two final here. So the longer one is gonna go down here, shorter one up here. So there we go. What? Ha! Crabbed the wrong one. Ah! 
There we go. Ugh. Okay. Well, that's going to be interesting. Okay, I wonder... Okay. Wait, what? Okay. Okay. There we go. So I had to pump this up a little bit and we get this hydraulic cylinder. There we go. And that's the shorter. Boom. So let's do it. Yeah, look at that. This is awesome. It's jacking up. There we go. It's kind of slow, but I mean, don't expect it to be fast. There we go. Yeah. And we'll go I'll drop it. There we go. Tighten it. And here we go again. So now we gotta pump it all the way up. What in the world? Okay. That is not awesome. Ah, okay. Here's my issue where this is uh, too tight because it's up there. It's just like excess pressure because this is all the pressures on here. So that's an interesting problem. Okay, there we go. There we go. Ow, ow. It's all falling apart. There we go. So that's an interesting issue to work through. All right, here we go. We got the cherry picker put together. It's a pretty basic usage. I mean, you got this arm here, pull this pin, extend it out to what you want it to be. Each pin spot is the weight that it can hold. So a thousand pounds, 1500 pounds, no. 500 pounds, 1,000 pounds, 1,500 pounds. Two, no, if it's at two ton, two times four, so 4,000 pounds, okay. So 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 pounds of holding power. Got the support here, so yeah, uh, these fold down. We just went through the little issue on uh, size of the, or on the uh, <clears throat> problem of uh, pressures because the bottom wheels are a little bit lower, or the smaller wheels are a little bit lower on the output because it wants you to have all the support out on the ends. Yeah, and then has a little storage for this and you just shove it in here and do the pump jack. Goes up, we wanna compact it up, so we'll just do that and it will lower the hydraulic cylinder. Boom, 
tighten it up so the next time it's just ready to go. And now we're just ready to drive it around. Just like that. Pretty portable. I think it's gonna work great. Along with the other stuff that I got, I am ready to work on an engine for my tractor, work on the other tractor, work on my planer over here that's too big for me to handle and I'm not doing stupid stuff with a uh, high lift jack, and a few other projects that I wanna do. So this is gonna be a great addition to the shop. So glad I was able to get it and it was actually ended up being on sale at Harbor Freight. So that was just a bonus. So anyway, I wanna thank you for watching this video and watching the tutorial on how to put it together. Super simple, um, again, the instructions were really well done. I was super surprised and I'm excited about that. So join me next time as we build something and I wanna thank you for watching and in the meantime, happy DIYing.